Hey guys, welcome back to Curiosity Cafe. Did you know that your Amazon Fire Stick needs to be updated on a regular basis? Folks, it does, and it will improve your speed, your buffering, your freezing during playback, all these things, and you need to know how to do that. Now, I'm gonna show you not just that, but I'm gonna show you three things that you can do right now to improve your Amazon Fire Stick performance. All right, guys, real quick, before I get to the video, do me a huge favor. If you like the content that you're seeing, just hit that thumbs up down below. It gives me an idea of what you guys like to see, which videos you like to see. Um, also, comment down below. Let me know what country you're from. I'm just curious to see what country you guys are from that are watching this video. It also helps me provide more information catered towards my audience. So if you're in the United States, I'll do more United States based. If we have a lot of Canadian, I'll do more Canadian because I know some of the the streaming can be a little different without a VPN. So make sure you do that, guys. Just comment down below. Let me know what country you're from. Also, if you want to find out anything about the Fire Stick that you're curious about, comment down below. I'd be happy to uh, answer your questions. Uh, thanks again for watching, guys, and let's get to it. One of the number one comments that I get on my videos is um, it's buffering, it's freezing, um, it's choppy during playback. Well, let's talk about why that is. So the number one reason why that is on your Fire Stick is probably because of the stream you're choosing. And I actually bring all the latest streams that are the most reliable every single week. So if you're new to my channel and you watched a video from say a month or two ago, it might be outdated. So um, if you're having some issues, that may be just common with that site. Um, ads could be on the videos. Um, there could be too many people on them and it bogs the website down that it's streaming from. So do me a favor, guys. Hit that notification bell right down below. That way you're notified when I have my newer videos. Um, it's real important that you do that because I don't want you to watch a two-month-old video and then say it doesn't work. Uh, I'm bringing some really good ones from the NBA too, guys, so you don't want to mess that if you like NBA action. It's a completely new site. It's really catered to the NBA. So once again, hit that notification bell. I'm sorry for that. I just wanted to let you guys know about that. It's very important because I want to make sure that you guys have the best information in front of you. So let's talk about the stream. So if you don't have the latest and greatest stream, that's going to be probably your biggest issue. Um, the second issue is going to be, well, quite frankly, you just need to make sure that your Fire Stick is updated with the latest updates. And you may not even know that you need an update on your Fire Stick, but you do. Um, because if you don't, here, let me, let me just show you what I'm talking about really quick. If you don't have the latest update, your Fire Stick just bogs down. It's the same with your phone. It's the same with uh, any device that you have. You always need the latest update. So let's look at it right now. Let's see which one is the latest and how to find out if you have the latest. Just go to settings, go over to My Fire TV, go to About. Then you're gonna go, you're gonna see all of this here. Go down to check for updates. So this is my current version, and I last checked it today, um, just so you can kind of get an idea here. So there it is right there, that's the latest. But yours might say last checked a year ago, two years ago, three years ago. Well, of course it's gonna bog down, of course it's gonna freeze, some apps won't work. You need to make sure you have the latest version. All you have to do is click check for updates, and it will look for that. It says you're up to date. If it's not up to date, it will say update and you just go down, click on it, update it, and you should see a vast improvement on your Fire Stick. This is really um, important if you have had the Fire Stick for over a year. The last year, they've only done a couple updates, but if you haven't done it in the last year, probably gonna have some issues, and that might be your problem altogether. Um, the second thing is your storage. So I talk about this on one of my other videos and it's really important to understand that with any device, let's say you have a phone or a laptop or anything like that, if it's close to being full, it can't process properly. So you need to make sure that it's not full. So let's look at that as well. Go ahead, the exact same spot, Meyer Fire TV right here and about, and you're gonna see the capacity. You wanna have at least one gig available. So the 4K sticks actually have, I believe it's eight gigs. So you have a little bit more space, you can put more apps on there. Uh, the standard one like what I have, it is the cheapo one, is uh, uh, only like, I think six. Uh, I think there's even four gig ones, the older ones. But uh, but yeah, so two, two gigabytes, really one gig is all you need to have. 
If you can have one gig available storage, then that's what you want to do. Um, and the way that you can get rid of programs really quick is just hit hold down your home button. The home button is this one that looks like a little home. I don't know if you can see that, but just hold it down for three seconds. Go to your apps, which are right here. It'll pull up. Go ahead and click on your apps. And once you've clicked on the apps, in just a second here, they'll all pull up all of your apps. Just go down here and find one that you don't use. Now, if they're in the cloud, it really doesn't matter. But um, let's say, for example, you did not, well, I pretty much need all these, but you know what? I'm gonna get rid of bowling just to show you how it works. So if you click on the three dashes right here, the three, it's three lines right here is really what it is. It's in the right-hand side of the home button. Just click, make sure it's highlighted over, click on that, and it will move right here and go down to uninstall. That's all you have to do. Now it's moved it into the cloud. It's no longer on your device. So go ahead and hit the home button, go to settings, and let's see if that made any difference at all. You might have all kinds of programs on there you don't use that you don't even need that are just bogging down your Fire Stick. So go back to My Fire TV, go to About, Storage. See, now I've gained a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. And uh, you really wanna have at least a gig. Like I said, if you're under a gig, you're probably having issues and that could be your problem. So uh, make sure it's up to date. Make sure you have some internal space. Make sure you're using the latest stream, which I bring to you every single week. Uh, those are probably three of the big things with the Fire Stick. Uh, internet connection is something that's really big. Unfortunately, I can't do a whole lot about that. But what I can do is I can bring you streams that perhaps have a little bit lower grade but won't buffer. It'll just keep playing and playing and playing without having the freezing. If you have those other things already set up on your Fire Stick. I hope this helped you guys out. I just wanted to do a quick video just to let you know about the update because a lot of people weren't aware of that. So storage space, update your Fire Stick. Oh yeah, one more thing before I let you go. Um, make sure, and this is just a silly thing, but it's so important. I hope you understand how important this is. You need to let your Fire Stick rest. They get hot, they heat up. If it's running constantly, like you just turn your TV off, but your Fire Stick's still going, guys and you go in the other room, you go to bed, you get up the next day, you play it, and it's just choppy and, fr and not working properly, it's because you didn't let your Fire Stick rest. You've gotta turn it off, guys. It's real simple. Again, just hold down the home button for three seconds. Sleep. You gotta put it to sleep, guys. Um, I really hope this helped you guys out. I just wanted to do this really quick video. I just wanted to share with you all the things that you can do with your Fire Stick and how you can improve your Fire Stick performance and really unlock the potential of your Amazon Fire Stick. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up if you liked the video. Uh, I got some more videos coming, so make sure you hit that notification bell as well. Thanks again, guys. Bye.